Thank you very much uh, for having me in your studio. This is my first official uh, visit to Burbis since I became Prime Minister, and uh, at least after the, the May 11th elections. I came here once for a funeral of a relative. Now, the reason for visiting today was first and foremost to come to the studio, Dave's studio, to thank you, to thank you for helping the effort to uh, have the restoration of democracy, to help the effort of bringing uh, good governance and, uh, to Guyana, and you have played a consistently um, high quality role. And our whole team from the APNU AFC coalition uh, want to go on record as being grateful for your assistance. I've also visited the NCN, uh, New Amsterdam or Burby studio. And uh, I had wanted to take a visit of that for quite a while now because the facilities there are run down. I, I was appalled to know that uh, we have a state television facility in Burbis that doesn't even have proper sitting uh, accommodation, seating accommodation, toilet accommodation. Um, the environment is, uh, uh, is uh, horrible. There is no direct access uh, to the uh, studio. No way you could do business with the state television. I didn't think even I saw a, a signboard to say this is a state television. You look like a stable, um, a, an abandoned horse stable. So I've listened to the staff and I've listened to the, um, the new manager, Donna Mathu, and uh, they will present us with a list to see how we could help to improve the quality of service of N. CN, how to improve not only the quality of service in terms of the programming, but also to help to, uh, to make the facilities better for the employees. We are also thinking at, at some point that we will want to expand television in Barbies to include radio. I believe that this is about time that you have Radio Barbies, and uh, we will hope that the NCN will take the initiative to prepare for uh, having uh, to divert its uh, service into radio. I'm also here um, to hold talks with the wider media um, environment, for, uh, uh, media studios for uh, other people involved in media. And later today, I'd hope to meet with the mayor, with the regional chairman, uh, to meet with some other stakeholders so I can bring to them the message of this new government that we want cooperation. We, we, we want to be able to develop a coordinated approach where we could uh, utilize the money for the rest of the four months of this year to bring some improvement to the people. In the budget for Region 6, there, there's about $260 million dollars to do infrastructure, roads and bridges and, and, and community uh, works and play fields, etc. I'd like as Prime Minister to see that every cent is utilized by the end of this year and that we speed up all the programs that will bring relief to people wherever they had uh, problems. Next year is going to be a bigger budget for, uh, for infrastructural works in this region and so we are also going to start the process of consulting with uh, Barbicians on their needs. And we are hoping, we are just hoping that we could have local government elections by the 7th of December so that you will bring in more um, organizations through the NDC to consult with the people on the grassroots and to, for them to bring forward suggestion as to what can be done in their communities to improve the surrounding. We want to make Barbies a very a uh, favorite spot uh, for celebrations as we go into next year when we'll celebrate 50 years of our independence and uh, as, as uh, a free nation. And so we are hoping that 
we will be able to situate some of the events in Barbies and involve Barbicians so that they have reason to be proud to celebrate our independence. They must be proud to be Guyanese, proud of their country, um, and proud to know that they are part and parcel of this big new effort to unite the country. And uh, today I will hold my first community meeting at WIM. WIM is a special place uh, for the coalition. WIM is a special place for Guyana. WIM, I believe, has made a difference in the uh, results of the elections, has made a difference in the choice Guyanese made, whether to vote along race line or to vote for issues, vote for a change, vote for policies. Above all, WIM chose to support a son of the, of the soil. And I want to thank them also for showing their support behind our, our alliance and showing their support behind their own uh, villager. And I'm also uh, I'm filled with pride that eventually we were able to have Dr. Virasami Ramaya to be appointed the regional executive officer for region six. <laughs> in, in a way, this is what I think suits him best. He uh, told people he resigned from the AFC so he's not a parliamentarian. He didn't think he's uh, an AFC. That's what he, at least he said. So now he's like a public personality. So it was good that we put a public personality to hold a high public office in Barbies. And he is like the, uh, the strike force to work with the Regional Democratic Council, to work with the chairman, to, to cooperate with the regional chairman, Mr. Armogan, to put Barbies first. The focus here is on Barbies and Barbicians. And so I'm here to, in a way, to give my personal blessings to Dr. Ramaya, to my personal congratulations to him, and my personal commitment that as Prime Minister, he will find in me a working partner. He will find with me always uh, a brother, and the Regional Democratic Council will find a, a useful uh, supporter uh, for programs in Barbies if we could work together. So in all, today is for me homecoming. Thank you. Okay, I just have two questions to ask you. As a Barbician, what are your thoughts on the prospective increase in the Barbies coach tools? Because Barbicians are the ones that, um, that mostly utilize that bridge, so if it increases, we're the ones that are going to feel the strain the most. So what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, we have decided to announce a reduction of the tolls for, for cars and other vehicles, and we believe uh, that it is possible to reduce the toll. It is amazing that the former government was actually thinking to authorize an increase in, in the toll. And we are sim in sympathy with the school children who have to use uh, the vehicles to cross. And even if the toll for crossing is $300, if you cross two, three times, it, 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 it means something. So we are conscious that this is a private company, but the government has an interest. The NIS has an interest. We'll, we will try to examine the ownership structure of the Barbies Bridge. And we have some resistance right now from the people who own this bridge that they don't want to reduce the toll. Well, we will find other ways of helping the people, even if we have to introduce both for people to cross and to pay $100 to cross. This government is committed to helping to ease the financial burdens faced by our Guyanese people, financial bur uh, problems of Barbicians in particular. So we will press with our campaign to reduce the toll. And can you give me a little overview of how the budget debates have been progressing? Well, as you know, we are there only now just a little over 100 days. And we promise that we will bring a budget that will take us to the end of the year. The budget that we just introduced is the 2015 budget has expenditure monies that have been spent by the former government. 
and there are programs by the PPP government that are still there. We are not going to scrap these programs. We, we are going to continue all the programs if they are benefiting these people. The programs that are not going to work, that, that would be wasting money, uh, we are scrapping those programs. As you can see, we, we, we put aside the specialty hospital. We don't believe that uh, that uh, allocation, they allow the man who came in to do the contract to spend $900 million uh, just to put, to, to, to bulldoze uh, and clear the land. $900 million, the man gone away with our money. We believe that we could use that money to improve the uh, conditions of ex existing hospital. We can uh, uh, use that money to and much more to, to do better facilities for our people, to expand the maternity ward so that our mothers can de de deliver their babies in safety and, they, and their baby can survive. So there are some priorities. We set aside the Amaila Falls because that's where you'll spend uh, about one uh, billion US dollars. And uh, all the studies show that one, the water, level is unreliable one time the river went dry and two there's no way that we were satisfied about the technical aspect of the falls and while we all want to reduce electricity we cannot go into an investment that will cost us more problem ahead and so we're looking for a bigger falls uh, with more capacity so that we can uh, have a, a real reduction in the rates we're paying so the 20 15 budget is a $221 billion budget. But we know that all of that money, some spent earlier, and we're looking how the money was spent because a lot of it was, was hidden away. But for the next four months, we are hoping that we can put uh, the programs in place to fast forward things for which money had been voted. And we want to deliver as many as possible of the promises we had made to the Guyanese people. So what has been the opposition's response to your budget, to the budget that was proposed? Well, I said we copied the budget from them, and, uh, and still they didn't come in the parliament to support it. They said this is their budget, this is all what they plan, and so on and so forth. But we don't mind. Look, people copy all the time, right? You have people singing other people's songs, we don't mind once the song is good, the tune is nice, we, and the Guyanese people can dance. Mm -hmm. That's all we are interested in, is to continue songs that are good songs. And so we don't have a problem, but we want to work with the opposition. We want to work with the PPP. They have to come out of this nonsense that the elections were rigged, and they got to stop being like, you know, what ordinary people said they saw posts, they're crying all the time, oh, we lost the elections. And they want to know who is prime minister, and they, they're now concerned about the prime minister wearing too big shirt. If the shirt is green, they're saying he should wear a yellow shirt. Why is he not wearing a red shirt? And they're now picking, nitpicking, and pin pricking on little, little things and, 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 and so on. They gotta get out of that. Life has to move on. We won the elections. It's not by how many votes we won the elections. The fact and the truth is we won the elections. People said it's not the size of the truth that is important. It is the truth. And so the truth is that we are the government. There is nothing they can do about poor Nagamutu being the president, prime minister anymore. So they are quarreling whether Nagamutu got enough work for do, whether Nagamutu is important enough in the government. Those are petty things. So we want to move beyond that. So we are calling on the opposition to sit with us and to talk about everything they want to talk about. I'm leading a team from the coalition to sit with the PPP, the opposition, with the opposition leader, Bar Jagdeo, and his PPP team to discuss all issues. The border issue, we want to discuss issue of agriculture, uh, let them support the sugar workers, let them support the rice farmers, let, us, let them help us to get the markets for, for paddy and rice. And uh, they mustn't just bellyache all the time that we promised $23 billion to rice farmers. Let them come out and we are paying uh, the millers for the rice sold to Venezuela. They must come out and tell us where to find new markets if they want to help rice farmers. They mustn't just bellyache 
that we are investigating the sugar industry. They brought the sugar industry down to its knee. They gotta come now with some solutions. As they say, they have a turnaround plan. We want to see the turnaround plan because they overturn the sugar industry. So we are committed to helping the sugar workers, but we want them to come forward with their ideas. So in other words, we want cooperation, we want partnership. I am not in Barbies to uh, stir up any kind of problems for the opposition. I am here to bring a message of peace and love that I'm prepared to work with everyone in Barbies, including the opposition PPP. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to see the chairman and uh, uh, the PPP member of parliament who I invited to have lunch with me today and we could all work as a team. So yes, they are critical about everything, uh, including this budget, which they said it is their own. But here, life goes on. We are not gonna be too worried about all of that. Okay, so I think most Barbicians are proud that the Prime Minister is from Barbies and all of that. So what would you say in closing to the Barbies people? Any comments directly towards them? Yeah, well, thank you. I, I just want to say thank you, Barbies. Um, you have not uh, disappointed me uh, once again. I, I want to thank you for staying the course and making the decision you did. And um, we have challenges, yes. We have a crime situation that uh, we are trying to find answers. But of course, it could have been better if we have an opposition that does not seek to exploit crime for politics, like going to people houses and telling them to burn tires and bring out old trees and road and blocking road, and in the end it turned out that a man shoot his wife. And they're trying, you know, blaming the government for the violence and not protecting the communities. We have placed heightened security in Barbies right now. And we have had some very good results, and we intend to have more results in Barbies. So I want to give Barbician that assurance. We want to also give assurance that we are looking into the piracy. Uh, we have uh, aerial flights by the joint services, by the army, into the um, area where there have been uh, attacks by pirates. We want the fishermen to cooperate with us, to be able to carry um, transponder so that they can report when they see any strange vessels in the area. We want them also to cooperate with our patrols uh, that we will mount in these areas. And so um, my uh, message to Babishan is that you have done yourself proud. I am here also to announce the appointment of Dr. Virasami Ramaya as your REO. He's like the old time governor of Barbies now. He has uh, a lot of powers as the REO to, ins to make sure that all the projects that are there are carried out. Uh, the millions and millions of dollars must be spent and you must have good results for the money spent and uh, an end must be put to all the bad uh, delivery of services and contracts, etc. I'm here also to tell you that we made some promises uh, that we will do certain things within the 100 days. Well, we fulfill most of those promises. They're, we're not all easy. No politicians go out there in election time and say they will do things in 100 days. We did it. And we have shown that we uh, were true to our promise when we increased old age pension, when we increased the minimum wages for public servants, when we announced that we will reduce the toll for the Barbies Ferry. Uh, the Barbies uh, Ferry Company is creating some problems, but we'll find an answer. We'll work with the bridge company to find an answer to reduce that toll. We told you that we were going to have a consultation on how to improved a lot of the sugar industry, the rice industry, and we kept conferences to see a way forward. So Barbitian, we have kept by and large uh, most of the promises because we want to work with you to bring good governance, a better country, a better county, and to be able to take care of those problems government should take care of. I'm not here uh, uh, as, a, uh, as a AFC politician or an AP, a new uh, partner. I'm here as the Prime Minister of Guyana. And as much as I'm proud to be a provision, I can also tell you that you have reason to be proud as well. Your Vice President, Kamraj Ramjatan, is a provision. 
Your Vice President, Karl Greenwich, is a provision. The uh, Minister of Governance, uh, Raphael Trotman, is a provision. And uh, I, I think I probably um, must have left out uh, a few names, but your cabinet is uh, a cabinet that has a lot of provision. Amna Ali, Minister of Social Cohesion, is a West Barbitian girl from Cotton Tree, Sir James area. So we have fair representation in the cabinet. And so you have nothing to be afraid of. We are accessible. You can approach us. Today we'll hold a tent. Uh, and we intend to do this uh, more regularly, where you can go and lodge your complaint. I will appoint someone in Barbies to be the prime minister representative. And the prime minister's representative will have an office in Barbies where you could come and make your complaints if you think you're not receiving proper service. I want to be able to speed up the process of delivering passports in Barbies, right in Barbies, birth certificates, death certificates. You don't have to go to Georgetown to have these done. And so we want you to uh, recognize that as prime minister, I'm going to do those things that will make life a little more comfortable for you. We want to uh, work uh, with you in cooperation, and, and that is my message to you. It's a message of peace and love to all of you. Can, can you give us a summary of the activities that you have planned for today, seeing that you're here in here? Well, today, um, the day started early. I, as I said, I wanted to come here to say thank you to, to, to Dave and uh, his family in the studio, and I went to the NCN. I'll be uh, visiting Kanji to visit a family uh, where tragedy struck. Um, a person was killed in, in an accident. I intended to visit uh, uh, in Port Moron, a, a center that is um, dedicated to, uh, to help uh, disadvantaged people. And then I intend to um, do some private uh, uh, family visit in, in WIM. And then there is a uh, uh, a meeting, a public forum, where I will sh which I will share with other ministers so that we can meet and interact with the Guyanese community, but that will be at WIM. And as I said, WIM is very special for me, and I think should be fresh special for all Guyanese. So it's a packed day, but this is a, the, the first effort we're making to fan out. And throughout Guyana, all the ministers of the government will be fanning out, and they will be meeting people talking to them, consulting with them, because we want to build this relationship as we had before, that we mustn't come here only during elections time, like Columbus bringing gifts. We must come here as a servant of the people, returning uh, with humility to their communities and trying to find out what more we can do to uh, help um, uh, take this country forward. Okay, yes, I think that's it.